Okay, it isn't that easy, but it's getting freakishly close. I've been working with ChatGPT for the last two months and with GPT-4 for the last week. And I can honestly say the way that I approach coding has been forever changed. The official launch of GPT-4. ChatGPT. It seems like we've just arrived at the beginning of the AI age. I don't know what comes next. No one does. Capable of hiring a human through TaskRabbit. Oh my God. And getting them to solve a CAPTCHA for it. This technology has the power to revolutionize programming as we know it. My efficiency has increased. The amount of time that I spend at debugging has dramatically gone down, and I'm probably saving four to five hours per week compared to the coding process that I was previously doing. So how has my personal coding process changed? There are three main ways. First, my work no longer suffers from what I call the cold start problem. Rather than generating code from scratch, I can virtually always start with a template or some boilerplate code. Let's say that I wanted to do an exploratory data analysis where I wanted to have histograms for each variable, box plots, a correlation matrix, and testing for how many null values were in each column of the data set. I can have ChatGPT generate this boilerplate code and just tweak it for my specific data. Writing this code myself would probably take, I don't know, 20 minutes, but with ChatGPT, I can do this in about five minutes, which is a pretty good time save. The cold start problem happens when you don't have momentum. You have trouble getting started because you know you have to take on a very large task and just taking the first step, getting started is a bit terrifying. A good example is running a marathon. If you know you have to run 26.2 miles, you might be hesitant to take even the first step because the whole challenge seems so large, you know you're gonna be going through a lot of pain and a lot of struggle. For me, sometimes looking at a blank notebook gives me this exact same feeling. I know in my heart that I have a lot of work to do before my project even starts to take shape. Something I've talked about in the past for solving this specific problem is copying some of your own code from another project and using it as a starting place. This is really good, but if I'm being honest, I kind of like using ChatGPT even better. The way it outputs the code on the screen, it sort of makes me feel like I'm writing the code and that I'm contributing to the work that I'm doing more than I actually am. Uh, but this, in my mind, it really does give me good momentum. I can pick up where ChatGPT is leaving off and I can create a lot of change really fast. Now I have a question. Do you ever know exactly what you wanna do, but you don't necessarily know how to put that into code? I suffer from this constantly and ChatGPT is solving this specific problem really well for me. In particular, I find that GPT-4 is a lot better at handling just the random gibberish that I throw into it and turning it into code than the previous iterations. I call this conversational coding, and this is probably the biggest way that my overall programming and coding process has changed. Before, I'd have to search all over the internet to find a reasonable code snippet based on an idea I had. Then I'd strip it down for my specific use case and I'd eventually have to debug it. Now I say what I wanna create and see how close ChatGPT gets. If there's something wrong with the code, I can tell ChatGPT that there's something wrong with it and ask it to make the corrections for me. For example, let's say I wanted to create a function that added two numbers together. Kind of basic, I know, but let's pretend I'm pretty new to this. After ChatGPT generates this code, I could ask it to rewrite that same function to add a list of numbers or to create the sum of two lists that are fed in as parameters. This is pretty cool. It's evolving with the feedback that I gave it. I personally find that I think a lot faster than I code, and when I'm able to have conversations about my code with ChatGPT, I find that I can more purely exercise my critical thinking ability, and that I'm not limited by the speed that I can convert my thoughts into my code. This also helps me not have to break my critical thinking train of thought, and I don't go from thinking about the problem to coding, and then thinking about the problem and then back to coding. If we compare these two processes, I used to do this think code, think code, and repeat. Now I think, I chat with GPT and implement, and then I think, and these iteration loops are shorter and shorter. In the animation, which I did make with ChatGPT, you can see how much more progress I make in the same amount of time and how many fewer gaps there are in my thinking process. Let's talk about functions, one of the most fundamental programming concepts there is. The whole idea is that you write code once and you write it well, so you don't have to repeat it over and over again. In my work as a data scientist, I find myself not exactly using them as much as I should. Especially when I'm testing, it kind of makes more sense to run code in line rather than putting it into functions to start. 
I'm doing a lot of iteration, so putting things into functions requires me to technically do more debugging because I have to debug the code and then actually debug the function. I find that I now use ChatGPT sort of like a function. I recently wrote some code like this for training an SVM regression. So rather than rewriting all of the same code for a different model, or even copying the code and replacing all the variable names, I had ChatGPT do all of that for me. So in this case, I pasted the code into ChatGPT, and I asked it to write code in the exact same style, but for a decision tree, a random forest, and XGBoost. This worked unbelievably well. So it even replaced all of the variable names properly for me, which is not something I was expecting. Better yet, I could ask it to put all this code into a function that takes in a model as a parameter and outputs the relevant metrics for my model, the performance metrics that I'm looking for. While conversational coding was probably the biggest change in my process, this functionality was by far the biggest time saver for me. Obviously, time saving is important for me, and I want you to know that I'm not wasting your time. So the thumbnail of this video, it wasn't clickbait. I realized that most of the video could be about general ChatGPT, but I'm gonna talk more specifically about how GPT-4 plays into all of this. I found that all the changes I made and I talked about in this video would have been difficult, if not impossible, pre-GPT-4. Before this release, conversational coding and the functionalization of code that I discussed, they were clunky at best. I'd spent almost as much time debugging the ChatGPT code as I would have spent just doing it on my own. I personally think that GPT-4 is a massive jump in model performance for the coding use case. Still, it isn't without its flaws. Without a doubt, and by far and away, the single biggest improvement in this model is that it now knows who I am. Unfortunately, the data that it has on me is incorrect. The model still hallucinates and it provides misinformation around 20% of the time. This means that we still always need to check our code for bugs and errors when we run it through ChatGPT. It isn't all sunshine, rainbows, and perfect code. There are some other drawbacks to consider. By relying on AI-generated code, we risk losing some of the personal touch and human creativity that makes our work unique. We need to be careful about potential ethical concerns and the propagation of biased algorithms. It's essential to double check the code generated by GPT-4 and ensure it aligns with our values and principles. 